This is a Riverside Primera boiler. They're fairly compact. I should have taken uh, some pictures and video of when I just recently did some service to it. Finishing that up now. Uh, took apart the inducer blower section. This one has a modulating uh, air baffle, you know, for the variable air flow, for the variable capacity, which uh, using pressure over here to a regulator gives reference pressure over here to this regulator, which then uh, maintains the correct fuel to air mixture. And these are pretty interesting. Uh, I had, uh, th these, these require periodic maintenance. And you have to take the whole top of it apart, and take a deucer section out, you know, and uh, the gas valve and regulator out. And then you can take the manifold, the bolts off there, and then you can get to, uh, there's actually a filter screen going down into the heat exchanger, which is like a, and heat exchanger is like a metal, uh, I might have taken a picture of that, some, like a metal uh, woven material that the actual air fuel mixture burns out of and then aims towards the uh, heat exchanger that the water goes through, which is in a big circle around in the bottom. The flame is it comes from the middle and it shoots outwards towards that heat exchanger. The hot gases from the flames, you know, go through the spine fin is what it kind of looks like, you know, on the, not really spine fin, but it's got little fins on the, the heat exchanger to put the heat into the water. Um, so, <laughs> it just draws in combustion air right from the outside, and uh, so all the dirt, leaves, lint, everything goes into there. Well, there's a fine screen that's before that otherwise fine heat exchanger, that mesh, it's actually not the heat exchanger, the burner. The burner is a wire mesh, but there's a screen that's before that, that sure enough, it was starting to trip one of those pressure switches, and I had to diagnose it, and it only did it when it, mod when it ramped up the modulation there for uh, more capacity. And uh, so that needs that screen's got to be pulled and, and cleaned in the burner. <laughs> so it's like two years old. They probably needed it a couple months ago. So about every year, I guess this needs to be broken down and cleaned. Pretty. These are pretty interesting. Got all the controls back down in there. This part will hinge up if you pull the two bolts out. I got the top off right now, so you can see it. sensor right here it was actually bad but you'll see the heat rise once it uh, ignites and there we go got flame take apart the top half of the shell but that half comes off you know now we're approaching our normal heat rise at about 40 degrees measured from the inlet water temperature sensor to the outlet Now 
this could be controlled entirely just from the, this uh, temp track controller. So, however, we're uh, this is just stage one of multiple boilers, which we by another controller that's sensing in a you know a water tank. But I do have this program to where once it gets near. Uh, Shut off point, you know, once it gets near the shutoff point, it starts modulating down. This should do fairly soon. That's the actual tank which the water is heating for. Fairly compact, it's about four feet tall.